Hello, I am uh, just making something real quick here for you guys. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky. Uh, these guys are doing their countdown to end Xenotype, uh, the primary campaign, and I want to throw in a few words of encouragement on why I'm looking forward to the book. So, uh, let's see, we got Scotsman here. He is the colorist. Uh, this is a friend of the family, I guess. I don't know this guy. And, of course, that's Liam Gray, who's transmitting through his phone right now because literally his router in his house burst into flames. He's been trying to do a really long live stream. I don't know what it says here. Yeah, okay. Um, and let's see. There's the campaign. At the moment, it's got almost three hours left and 455 backers. Uh, I am looking forward to this book, but here's why. It's not... I backed... Um, Platinum. Uh, it's not just the artwork, and the artwork, you know, does look awesome. Everybody's been all over the artwork. I like how the artwork looks in the black and white. I think the gradations are really great. Um, but then, in the colored versions, I, I still like it. It's just different. It's a different animal. Let's fill that viewfinder a little more. There you go. Uh, one of the reasons I'm looking forward to it is the way Liam has described the story. Uh, it's blatantly it's a coming of age story. Those are very typical. Those are also typical in the manga world. Uh, l look at th there's this is intriguing. What is going on with this character and to find out you know what he is. I can't wait to read it. Anyway, uh, coming of age stories, they aren't the world and the archetype in them is something I really have to learn more from Professor Geek to to uh, you know I'm, I'm waiting for Professor Geek's book on archetypes because I just don't know enough and. It's not that I gave up his channel, but with so many channels, um, I started watching less of it. So I, I, every so often I go on a break from everything else and I just catch up on one channel. And so his is, his is in the queue and I'm going to have to skip a bunch of his videos and just do the archetypes. Uh, but back to Xenotype, the way it's been described really reminds me of something I learned early on, like in high school, about literature. That literature is supposed to touch on uh, what it means to be human. And... Uh, so here we go. Now pay attention to this panel because we're about to get into the colored. So check that out. Comparison with what it. Um, let me turn off. There we go. Lens flare. My lamp. Uh, with what it means to be human, one of the things I like in good literature that doesn't have the the propaganda attached to it to push certain agenda, it just focuses on things that we can relate to, not because of those propaganda reasons, but because we all emotionally go through cert, you know, certain things. But we don't get to go through emotionally everything. And uh, with that in mind, good literature touches on the human experience, so-called, uh, in such a way that it, it lets us expand our horizons without having to do everything. It lets us have in that, that uh, uh, what do you say, the, I call it playtime. But play, is, as a child, is the exercise by which you test out the realms of, of you know, who you are and what you are, uh, and you know, try different rules, things like that. So, at least for boys. So, uh, good literature lets you grow from others, other people's experience, even though you're not necessarily consciously reevaluating your own experience in light of, of a book you've read. Just look at that art. So, uh, I just based on Liam's descriptions of what he's written, I th I anticipate Xenotype to be a book along those lines that it's gonna it, it's gonna have that literature touch to it where it's deeper and you, it, you would grow from reading it. Now I'm you know giving a little bit of credit there. Uh, I am taking a risk. I haven't read it yet, obviously, but. I, it really sounds like he's aiming that direction in literature. Let's see how it plays out. Maybe it'll play out better, you know, once Volume Two comes out. Uh, but that's that's one of the reasons I'm really looking forward to Xenotype. Is it strikes me as literature that helps people grow, and not just stories about things happening with all the right mechanics in place, even archetypes. So there we go. Um, I'm hitting almost five minutes. Hope that this was informative for you. Have a good night.